Welcome to Fireside Gaming, I'm Bill M, and today we are taking a look at Grim Guardians Demon Purge. This is a game by NT Creates. They are the guys behind uh, the Mega Man Zero series is what I think of whenever I think of them. They've done some other games since then. Um, shoot, what is it? Azure, Azure Striker Gunvolt, I believe, is them as well. Um, but yeah, this is a game that is actually coming out this month, uh, just in a few days. Um, late February, I think is what it is. And they have a demo up for Steam Next Fest. I figured we'd go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, we've got different modes. Limited lives, knockback upon damage, retro days of yore with this difficulty recommended for those looking for something of a challenge. Casual is unlimited lives, no knockback upon damage. A very forgiving difficulty recommended for news players or those looking to do a casual run. Well, let's uh, let's see how Veteran does us. I'm not exactly a fan of the lives idea, but sure. This is two player, evidently. I didn't know that. But maybe lives will be okay. We'll see. You're not going to try to get a squeaky girl voice out of me, by the way. So just fill this in on your own. Okay. Okay. I dig the character designs. Those actually both look good. I'm not usually a fan of the side mask thing, but everything else about it looks pretty cool. Okay. There appears to be writing on this board. Shinobu specializes in long-range offense through the use of her anti-demon submachine gun. Handy. She can also shoot while jumping to reach out of range targets. Okay. Be sure to reload when ammunition is running low. Reloading can be canceled through certain actions, but be aware that her ammu am blah, ammunition will remain as is if this is done. Okay, so... Where's my... She has 100 shots. She can reload. Can I shoot these? I can. Um, if you can't tell already that this is a Castlevania styled game, uh, it should be pretty obvious. So like, now at least. You can be swapped at any given time. Be sure to do so when their HP runs low. Maya excels 
Maya, it might be Maya, excels at powerful close range attacks with her origami. Careful timing will allow for up to three consecutive attacks. Okay, so we've got paper and a machine gun. Okay, I can get behind this. It's, uh, I'm thinking of two things off the top of my head. Okay. And that's, uh, well, okay, three. This, obviously it's going for the Castlevania feel, but it specifically makes me think of the GBA games, specifically those with uh, Soma Cruz, which I guess one of those is a DS game. All and allies can be resuscitated through the use of CPR. There is little need to fear a game over should one of you remain standing, so do try to stick together. This must play into that whole, uh, you can two-player this. But yeah, um, this, this makes me think specifically of those, the Soma Cruz Castlevania, something about its presentation, I guess I should say. And then the next thing my brain is, was thinking was, oh, I'm a holy maiden with a machine gun. That makes me think of Chrono Crusade, which was a manga running back in the 2000s about a nun fighting demons and stuff. Um, very kind of like Catholic nun styled girl. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely worth going back and checking out if you've never read it before and you're into manga and stuff like that. And then the other thing is... The origami made me think of... It wants me to go this way. We'll listen to the game. Actually, you know, we should... Yeah, we'll go, we'll go. The origami makes me think of Read or Die, which... Um, I remember the series. It must be a checkpoint system. Certain enemy attacks and projectiles can be evaded by crouching. Maya, being the shorter stature than Shinobu, can also walk while crouching. There may even be areas that only she can access. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, it made me think of a uh, Read or Die. Um, the movie specifically, I've seen a little bit of like the TV series that came after it, but I specifically think of the movie. I remember it airing on, I believe it was Cartoon Network, and then Tech TV back in the day had the TV series on its Anime Unleashed uh, thing, which ran at like 11 or midnight or whatever. That's actually how I got into a lot of. Uh, Random animes like Gungrave and stuff like that, and some of my some of my favorites came from that. I also had some that like I just didn't jive with me. Like I remember Boogie Pop Phantom and just being like, I don't understand this. But granted, you know I was a lot younger back then, so maybe it's different now. Maybe I would watch it and have an, a, a new appreciation for it. But I will say that uh, a lot of the ones it had like. Gungrave and shoot, what was it? Better Man? Like, I never got into Gal Gygar, really. I've been thinking about getting into it. But Better Man was a lot of fun. Doesn't want me to go this way, it looks like. Or maybe that's not what those mean. Maybe that's just showing that those doors open. Maybe that's what it is. I, I took it to mean like the game was trying to point me in a direction, but. Okay, it is. It is trying to point me into it in a direction. But yeah kind of rambling about anime there a little bit, but so far, this controls really well. Um, the only thing that I will say, and like this could change, I keep wanting to hit L and R to do dashes from like, you know, Symphony of the Night style games. Proper use of sub weapons. These will prove to be powerful resources when dealing with certain tricky demons. Shinobu can use weapon points to launch knives into the air. This will help when dealing with aerial foes. Maya can use weapon points to summon her Shikigami. This offers protection against enemy attacks, albeit at a heavy cost of points. Destroying lamps will yield special potions. Collecting these will recover weapon points. So yeah, they're kind of like the sub-weapons in Castlevania games. It's not surprising. So I've been hit. I can see my health there. I wonder... You know what? I can do this. It's funny because it feels like completely Castlevania, but by giving you someone with long range like a gun, 
it also kind of makes it seem like uh, like a Metroid style game in a way because you you have range as an option. Need to reload. Oh shoot! What did I do? I pressed. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Reload. I do kind of wish I could aim up, but that might make Shinobu a little too powerful, honestly. Okay, what's down this way? Granted, she doesn't get to crouch like Maya does, so maybe maybe that would balance them? I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm sure they did an appropriate amount of play testing to know these things. Part of me really wants to jump into a pit just to see if there's like a secret or if it'll go to like a different area, kind of like how some Castlevanes do, Castlevania games do that where when you fall through a pit, you'll just end up in a completely new area. So I'm not like too far in and I already wish, and this will this will maybe sound like like I'm being really impatient, but I already wish that the Switch animation was a little faster. It's not too bad. It really isn't. I just, I think I would prefer it to be a little faster. Hey, a checkpoint. Doesn't heal you, which is worth knowing. Oh, there's health. Okay. Perfect. So we do actually get different things from lanterns that matter. Oh, you're a green one. Okay. Jeez. Secret, secret. Well, that's good, because I needed some healing. Is this just a secret healing place? Okay, I can accept that. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have to fight you. Go ahead and reload. I do wonder if there is a level up system like how some Castlevania games have. I'm not seeing anything to suggest that yet, but there could be. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Switch. You know, I'm sure I could have just crouched and shot them, but my brain just. Didn't go that route. Your turn. Got it. That was stupid, Billy. Jumping before you got to see everything. It's a full heal. I already know that there's like so much to explore and I've not been seeing all of it, but a powerful demon hunter technique can be unleashed by the two siblings when pressing when the when the purged gauge is filled. Though this lethal shot boasts incredible power power, it will deplete the purge gauge. Smart use of this technique will aid in defeating even the most powerful of foes. The purge gauge fills up naturally over time, but swapping characters often will speed it along. Pride can also speed up the process. Okay, I've been collecting that stuff, and I did this once already. Come here, you. Well, that was kind of fun. I wonder if there'll be a... Because it, like, transferred back to the school grounds there for a second. I wonder if there'll be, like, jumping back and forth between the two realms. A 
Spider Chandelier. Now that's an interesting enemy design. Like, I'm actually... Hmm. I don't think I would have thought that. Like, thought to do something like that. Oh, you're down. And I'm bad. <clears throat> can I destroy these? I can. Beautiful. Jeez. I shouldn't have jumped. It's up to you. Wait for me, Shinobu. Oh, so it takes me back to the checkpoint. Oh, it takes me back to the checkpoint. Oh, I can't jump this now. I think I messed up. I do see that my live system up there, I have three lives remaining, and it looks like I, I'm gaining a bar that's going to give me more lives. I feel like, like, if I, if I die like that as a character, I, I feel like I should just switch to the other character, because, like, I'm clearly already doing that. I didn't, I jumped too soon. I was, I was caught up in thinking about what I wanted to say, because, like, I'm already switching between the characters, so I shouldn't go back to a checkpoint when one of them dies, I should just switch out to the other character. That would be the natural thing to have happen, you know? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't have to actually fight you, dude. All right, let's try this again without me sucking. Yes, spider chandelier, you look cool, deja vu. Yep, I messed that up. Just a butt ton of pride. Okay. So I guess that probably wasn't a boss. I wonder if that means it'll respawn if I come back through. I mean, if I can just jump past it, I won't care, but... That looks shiny. I want that. I can't... I can't reach those healths. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate.
Ooh, bats. Okay. This is a boss. I mean, I died to a sub-boss, so, I mean, probably shouldn't be any hope that I'll do well here. Granted, that looks like a good bit of damage. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not... I'm not super worried now. I said that, and now I'm gonna die. No! Hit it, hit it, hit it. Dang it. Phase two? Okay. Oh my goodness. That was not what I expected. Huh. It just stole one of my characters. That was interesting. Threw me off for a second. I almost died. Can I be healed, please? Yes, we get it a hell of a time. <laughs> okay. Healed me. That's nice. Alright, so before we go too far, I want to look. Options. Oh, this is just telling me how to play. Change difficulty and start from the beginning of the stage. No, thank you. That's just the options menu. So maybe this isn't. Maybe it's not quite fair to call it a, a metro, like a Metroidvania. Maybe it's more of a. You can travel to the start of an area you have already visited. Proceed. No, I don't think I will actually. So you can go back and look around, but it's separated into stages. How strange. Hmm. Like I. I I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, something that just didn't die instantly. I don't, I don't trust this. 
Other students who have been caught up in the fusing of dimensions seem to be in seek of help. Your HP will be recovered somewhat if you return in return for you rescuing them. Jeez. So We're safe now. Okay. So rescue your students, your fellow students. I can do that. No problem. Yep, I knew it. I was like, that's going to explode. That'll probably explode too. Hmm. You know, I haven't been using the sub weapons at all. I wasn't looking, I was looking up at my sub sub weapon screen. Oh, okay, the light colored stairs. Well, we gotta pick up the pride. That's how we do our special move. And there are clearly areas in those like previous places that Okay, possessed pot that I could still go to, so I assume there's going to be something along so, like along the lines of a uh, Metroidvania style thing where I go back to levels and I find things I didn't find before. I assume. That just seems like that would be a thing. Checkpoint. Okay, so those heal. Here's the real question. They don't spawn back. That's what I wanted to know, if you could just grind health up that way. I mean, I won't be able to get over to him, but my brain just told me I had to kill him. Reload. Need to reload. Okay, all right, we'll go up. I like that, um, like, small note, but, like, that chandelier fell, these ones fell, and they actually did damage the floor. Like, that's a nice little attention to detail there. Yeah, see? Did it here, too. It's not at all something that the devs had to do. But it's nice. Shoot ghost, evidently. I could see this being really fun as a multiplayer game as well. I could also see it getting a bit chaotic. I think I would personally prefer it as a single player experience like I'm doing, but who knows? I kind of thought those were going to be destructible. I should reload. Reloaded. 
Yeah, I didn't figure so. Okay, I could go that way. I can go this way. It like weirds me out because I keep looking for like a save room or something along those lines. But it feels like it's just a case of like you just play until you're done with the stage, which I mean makes sense. Oh, it's you again. OK, um, it's not been that long, man. You know what? We're going to demon purge you as soon as as soon as you drop again. Ah, I failed. I failed. need to see a recolored version of an enemy I already fought this soon like because those things almost are like mini bosses you know Billy pay attention it's funny how little of a threat some enemies are because of your gun Backgrounds are very nice, by the way. Like the environments and everything, it all looks so good. Like this whole kind of like opera house looking background we got going on here is very nice. Can I not make that? I want to pick one of these up so bad. Oh, that was... I didn't expect that. Okay, I can't go any further this way. This is what I mean about the Metroidvania feel it gives off. It's that I'm going to have to come back to some of these levels to find upgrades and stuff. I haven't actually found anything that like upgrades the game yet, like in terms of abilities or anything. Oh, you move a little differently than your red companions. Hmm, okay. And I can't go that way. Ah, come on. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's in here. I assume if I fall through the floor, I'll end up...
in that lower area. You know what? The checkpoint's right here. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll be right there, Maya. And this should give us a chance to check out that uh, CPR thing it talked about. Okay, here. Revive! Okay. Oh, you move. You're a little smarter than your... Was I that low on health? Did it revive her with full health or not? I didn't look. I, I, I stand by what I've already said, though. If they're both right there for me to switch between, then there's no reason to send me back to a checkpoint unless both of them die. I meant to shoot behind me, and I just messed up. These pet things are kind of annoying. They're almost worse than Medusa heads, actually. Oh, uh, you're not gonna... It just takes forever because there's just not a lot of openings. All right. You can still fight, right? Maya's back in Get up. Black. Okay, so she doesn't come back with full health. Good to know. Good to know. I should have paid more attention. <sighs> should I grab that? No, come on. But excuse me. I'll be right there, Maya. Your Swiss jeans. No dodging this. Um Your Swiss jeans. Oh great. Okay. I could hit them. For some reason, I thought they were going to be so short, I couldn't even hit them with a dodge shot. Or, not a dodge shot, a... A duck shot. So there was a girl somewhere in that area, but heck if I could actually find her. This is... Okay, the game has taken over, by the way. I'm not doing this. Okay. Oh. Oh. We got a rocker demon. It's a it's a bunny. And we have an audience. No! No! can't change midair, it's kind of a problem. Like, it's not a problem, per se. But I wish you could. Uh, 
Ah, that one got hit. I mean, should I even have to resurrect in a boss fight? Wow, they don't even give you enough health to restore your health all the way if you... Ha. Ha. <laughs> um, am I going to be able to find... Well, you know what? I can probably find time to resurrect during that fight. I bet you I... Oh, no, she's dead now. Yes, we know. There is danger. I can skip it. Cool. Oh, oh, you're not just going to go down. You're going to, you're just like the last one. Okay, so it's a cinematic ending, but you can still die during it, evidently. Interesting. Hello? Oh, you're one of the classmates that was turned into a fiend. Okay. I like this. I like this idea of saving your classmates and each one of them, depending on their uh, personalities or whatever, become different demons. That's fun. Demon grenade. Okay. Paper crane. So new sub weapons. Interesting. It's going to be those little shops that we've been seeing. So is that the end of the demo? Okay. So we have Okay. And then you have I can jump on it. That's Interesting. Oh, we can roll our demon grenades, too. Mid-air platform. Okay. Wait, hold on. But... You, you say mid-air, but... It's only activating... Okay, you know what? We'll just... That is what it is. Now saving. Saved. So it save, definitely saves in between levels. These pillars allow me to start at the area we've already been to. Um, you know what? I think this is enough of the demo. Uh, I'm not going to continue to play more. I feel like I've gotten a good taste for 
what this game is. It's coming out this month. Um, so far, I'd say like I'm enjoying it. I, I can dig it. It's it's a little weird that it's split up into stages while also being a kind of like Metroidvania style game. But I do like what it's going for. Um, the long range plus the close range, the switching between them, the different sub weapons. I, I can get behind all of that. Um, I do think it kind of sucks that you get sent back to the checkpoint when one of your character die characters dies and then like that's a fun idol animation sorry i got distracted um but it, it kind of sucks to get sent back to a checkpoint when one of your characters dies whenever you can just switch between them on the fly and it just to me would make sense if one of your characters like dies you just immediately switch to the other one and continue battle so that seems like uh I don't quite understand why that's a thing. And then the other thing for me would be that I just, I do think this character switch animation takes just a fraction of a second, like a half a second too long. I'd like more instantaneous changing just because you're going to be doing a lot of this. And so, yeah, especially like, especially like I get that it pauses the game, but like you're limited to doing it on the ground. Like I can't do it at all in the air, which kind of sucks because I could see that being really fun. Maybe that's, and, and maybe this, these are the kind of things that could change. I don't know. Um, like as you play the game more, maybe you get the ability to do it in air or something. I have no idea, but those are a couple of minor complaints, but um, I, I will stress those are minor. So far, I'm really digging what I'm playing here and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if it's a day one buy for me necessarily. Um, not that I dislike it, but there are just, I don't know. So something about it doesn't quite call me. I think it's the stage thing. Honestly, I, I think it's the being restricted to stages instead of just having a whole big area to explore something about that kind of just throws me off. And I, I, I think it's going to be what keeps me from just making this an, a, a more high priority pickup for me. But no matter the case, uh, thank you for stopping by, especially if you're all the way at the end of these videos. I know sometimes they go a little long. Uh, I do appreciate you watching and until next time, take it easy. There we go. Okay, so I just had to include this real quick. I walked through that door and then immediately got the thank you for playing. So that was the end of the demo. That's all. Just thought I'd include that as a funny thing.